The Radio Memories Network is brought to you in part by Liberated Syndication, podcast publishing made easy, Libsyn.com. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. The Mexican Robin Hood, the Cisco Kid and his rotund sidekick, Pancho, played by Mel Blanc, rode through the Southwest robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. A great deal of care and spirit in recreating a true Mexican flavor in the show. By the time Cisco arrived at the microphone, he had been greatly sanitized to make him acceptable kitty fair and had picked up the obligatory humorous ethnic sidekick, Pancho, lifted without acknowledgement from Miguel Cervantes' Sancho Panza character in Don Quixote. Thus, the Cisco Kid became a great favorite with Western fans during the 1940s. Dubbed the Robin Hood of the Old West, his radio adventures originated for many years at WOR, New York, and were widely syndicated by transcription by the Frederick W. Ziv Company of Cincinnati, Ohio. Jack Mather and Harry Lang filled the lead roles, supported by the usual war stock company. Now let's join the Cisco Kid and Poncho in this week's exciting episode. Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's the famous Robin Hood of the Old West. Cisco, the sheriff, he is getting closer. This way, Pancho, Pano, the Cisco Kid. Tonight's exciting story of the Cisco Kid. Broken Cinch was an unusual kind of a town, for not only was it in the very heart of a great cattle country, but gold, too, was in the hills that surrounded the town. Men had money in their pockets, and more important, they had money in the bank, large amounts of it. It was a good life in the area of Broken Cinch, but it was a hard life, too, and especially hard for Ben Newsom, the sheriff. As our story opens tonight, Sheriff Ben has been to the stage depot where he received a large bundle of posters, and he's now returning with the package to his office. Oh, by George, it seems that for every dollar that's made, there's ten owl who's out to get it. I never seen the likes of it, deputy. Eh, more posters, eh, Sheriff? Yeah. Look at them. Pictures and descriptions of at least 50 more coyotes who prowl in the territory. Yeah, and right on top of the pile is a picture of the Cisco kid. Seems like we get a picture of that hombre with every shipment of posters. <laughs> yeah. Seems like they've been after that critter ever since I've been sheriff. One time they're offering $10,000 reward for him, the next they ain't offering nothing. But he's always there, generally right on top of the whole pile. Now, let's see, more here. Hmm. Huh. Jug Gentry. Hmm, Gentry. Is that coyote loose again? What? Hey, look. Look out there, Sheriff. Yeah. Hey, ain't that Scott McCloud? He's yeah. been shot up, seems like. Hey, well, what in thunder happened to you, Scotty? Got this busted shoulder last night. Sheriff, there's going to be a raid on the bank tonight. you got to get ready for it. Road to tell you. Oh, what about the bank? Oh, now, look. Uh, sit down and calm <laughs> yourself. Get your breath before you try to talk. Oh, I'm all right. Yesterday, I was on my way back here from Jackson's Bend. I made camp on the west bank of the Little Sioux Creek. You know where... Yeah, go on, Scott. Well, it was hot as blazes, so I thought I'd cool off in the creek. Reckon I wasn't making much of a splash because two gents came down to the creek for water. They had pails, so I know there must have been several of them camping somewhere close. The pails going after the broken since bank tomorrow night, is he? Seems like, Charlie. That's going to be quite a haul for us, mister. Biden Creole gives a good cut of it. Yeah, that's the whole point. We risk our hides for him and... He stopped and looked right where I was. I'd been low in the water, but the moon had broke out from behind a cloud. My skin was wet. They'd seen it glisten, I guess. And... There's somebody in the water there, Tom. Got him! I ducked fast, but not before one of their slugs caught me here in the shoulder. I stayed under for what seemed like five minutes. I could hear the bullets cutting the water all around me. Honey, my lungs seemed like they was going to bust, so I come up for air and... 
They were gone. Well, they figured they got you, huh? Yeah, they must have. Anyhow, they'd gone. I climbed out as best I could and wrapped something around my shoulder to stop it from bleeding too much, and here I am. Oh, say, I better get you over to Doc Witherspoon, Scott. That shoulder swelled up pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You see, them two outlaws said somebody named Creole was their trail boss? Sounded like Creole, Sheriff. I think so. Say, uh, uh, may- maybe it's Cisco, Sheriff. Uh, I don't know nobody named Creole. Yeah, might be. Anyhow, whoever it is, he's coming after the bank tonight, is he? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. I got that straight all right. Well, I'm much obliged to you, Scott. And because of this warning, we'll be all set and waiting tonight. Take him over to the docks and then come right back here, Deputy. You and me are going to round up the best shots in town. All right, hold up a second. There's the bank right there, boys. Now then, Tom, you and Chris take the front of the building. Go around to the left here and keep in the shadows. Frank, you take the far side. Webb, you take this corner here at the back. Charlie and me will go into the bank through the back door here. Now remember, no matter who you see coming toward you, no gunning unless you see that the other maverick's going to gun you. We're going to do this job quiet. Now go on. Keep your eyes open. Come on, Charlie. All right. Yeah. Let me have that crowbar. Yeah. Here. Here. I'll force it into the door and lean on it. I'll wedge it in right above the lock between the door and the jam. You work the knife in and force back the bolt. You have did it 20 times before, Creole. I know how. Yeah, but it won't hurt you to be told again. All right, now. She's given. Get the knife in there. Yeah, I got it. Hey, Creole, something's gone wrong. Well, we're surrounded. It's a trap. Everywhere. Must be 30, 40 of them. We'll die here. Get down. Pretend you're dead. There. Maybe they'll pass us by to get the others. Get down. Yeah. There goes Webb. They got him. Shut up. We got these two. Never mind them for now. Round to the front. We'll get the ones there. I did it. Come on now. Run for the horses. All right. No matter what happens, don't stop. Run. They see us. They're coming after us. Never mind them. Mount and pound left. All right. Steady there. Oh, boy. Get up. Come on. There go two of them. After them, boy. Keep your saddle. It's no use, boys. Rain in. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I don't know how they've done it, but they got clean away from us. Yeah, and we'll never pick up a trail tonight. It's too dark. Them two were slick ones, all right. Deputy, uh, Hmm? you and me stopped and looked at them, remember? That's right. They was the ones that was working on the bank door. Sure, I I remember. As far as I could tell, they were dead owl hoots, but we done pretty good anyhow, Sheriff. We, We got four of them for sure, and we prevented the bank robbery. Yeah... But we let two of them get away. Yeah, that's what I don't like. Well, we sure can't do nothing about it tonight. No, maybe not tonight. But I'll tell you one thing, boys. Hmm? The word's got around that this town's rich. That means trouble. Yeah. We got to be on our guard every minute of the day and night. I got a feeling our troubles are just beginning. Yeah, I'd sure like to know who them two were, though. Maybe they'll come back and make another try. We know the name of just one of them. Creole, he's the top hand of the outfit. Yeah, and I ain't so sure that's his name. Scotty might have heard wrong. Might be Cisco. Cisco Kid. We don't even know, but what we might have killed him tonight. I'll soon find that out. I got his picture in a poster, so we'll go back and see if it matches any of the ones we shot. We missed two of them ringtail sidewinders tonight, that's true. But we'll get them. We'll get them, or by thunder, I'll turn in my badge. Let's go. Get up there. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this table's all right. Uh, how about going farther toward the back, Creole? Yeah, well said here. 
Here, I'll pour you a drink. I don't know, Creole. I'd feel a lot better if we were sitting back where we couldn't be seen so easy. Now, look, you fool. I've told you a hundred times there isn't anybody here who knows us. But we got away last night in the dark, so how could anybody have seen our faces? Oh, I guess you're right, but I ain't got the nerve you got. That's a trouble. <laughs> nerve and brains. Well, here's to the bank. And us getting into it before many more moons. Yeah. You ain't going to try to bust into that bank again, are you, Creole? You want to quit me? No, no, of course I only... Hey, shut up. <laughs> Why, you know that nobody quits the Creole, don't you, Charlie? Quitting me is just like asking for a dose of lead poisoning. Yeah, I know. I, uh... I... Hmm? Sheriff's coming into the saloon. So The law dog's paying us a visit, is he? Uh. He's going over to the table where those two are eating. Yeah. Put your hand, mister. Cisco Kitsa, your sheriff. And Pancho is Pancho. That's what I figured. What are you two doing around these parts? Right now, we are eating. What we will be doing an hour from now, I do not know. Well, I know. You'll be sitting in a cell in my jail. And I won't wait an hour either. Come on. What? Now, wait a minute. What are the charges against us? You cannot arrest us without telling us why you are doing so. You're not going to arrest Pancho until Pancho finishes the food. No. No. Well, we'll see. Well, Red, take your hands off, Pancho. Stand back. One move from either you gun slicks and I'll throw lead. I'll blow your heads right off your shoulders. There, that's better. You're coming to jail, both of you. Dead or alive, by thunder. Now get moving. <laughs> Just what I've been waiting for, Charlie. Just what I've been waiting for. We're going after that bank tonight. Huh? Huh. What are you going to do, Creole? Just watch me and keep your mouth shut. Speak when I give you the opening. (laughs) This ain't much of a town, seems to me, partner. Uh, No. Why not? Well, where I come from, we wouldn't let two crooks like that live very long. No, sir, not where I come from. Oh, no? What would you do about them two bandits where you come from, stranger? We'd give the law a hand. Matter of fact, we'd take the matter right out of the law's hands. Uh Hemp rope's cheap around here, ain't it? Well, I reckon we got our share of rope around these parts. Ever think of using it for neckties for a couple of critters like them two? Yeah, that ain't a bad idea, stranger. Necktie party, eh? (laughs) Yeah, that's right. You catch on pretty fast. I say them two coyotes ought to be lynched. Of course, I'm a stranger in these parts. Well, I reckon we might use a new idea, too, around here, Dad. Yeah. It's about time we showed them outlaws in this county that we mean business. Pancho, yeah. no wire, no bullets, nothing to use to get us out of this cell. And, uh, Senor Sheriff, he say we not get out of here. He say we stay here until the law take action. See, si, see, si, stupido. Very stupido. Banderos try to rob the bank and we are blamed for it. Yeah. Held under suspicion. Ah, no use doing that, Cisco. Do not shake the cell door down. I know, I know, muchacho, but I... Uh, listen. Hey, they yell. Cisco, they yell about lynching. Look out the window. See. Si. The mob will make off. <laughs> they come this way. See, they are coming to lynch us. We cannot get out of this jail, but we must, Pancho. And the lock on the door, amigo. <laughs> you sure you, 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 you not can open it? I am sure. But, uh, uh, then we stay here and... Uh, we will get out of this. We will. Uh, there is no way out of here, but there must be. We will not let them hang us. <laughs> words for a helpless man. In just a moment, we'll bring you the exciting climax of tonight's story of The Cisco Kid. And now, back to The Cisco Kid. Even though he and his men shot four of the outlaws who tried to rob the broken cinch bank, Sheriff Ben Newsom saw two of the outlaws escape 
and not knowing who they are, the sheriff reasons they might be Cisco and Pancho. As a result, he is quick to arrest the two companions when they come to town. And the real outlaw, a man named Creole, is just as quick to see his chance to make another attempt on the bank. He incites the townsmen with talk of lynching until there are a mass of anger-blinded men marching on the jail and their innocent victims. Cisco, Cisco, what we do, what we do? They, they, they come for us. There is some way out. There is some way. Uh, we try the roof, maybe. Uh, maybe knock a hole in the roof. Wait, wait. Huh? What? Hey, board. Wait, wait. Loosen the floor. Uh-huh. If I can get my fingers under this edge. Uh, Pancho, you help me. Uh, uh, don't just get my fingers under. Uh, 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 there. You do it. Now, now we... Uh, oh, Cisco. Setting on the ground. There is not a foot of clearance between the floor and the ground. Sheriff. Say, Sheriff. Come here. Huh? Why'd you call him? To find out if there's any more sense now than he did when we while ago. What do you want back there? Sheriff, you hear that mob that is coming? They are coming here to lynch Pancho and me. I hear them, all right. But they won't get in. Don't you worry about that. The deputy and me will stand them off. You have ever faced a lynch mad mob? No, but I know how to handle them, all right. You just sit tight here and see. Look, Senor Sheriff. All we ask is that you let us out of here and give us our guns back. We will not try to escape, but we will fight. You're we will a local. Let... You think I'm going to let you two out of here? I represent the law in this county, and the law is stronger than any mob. See, but sometimes the law needs help. We promise not to escape, but we do want a chance to defend ourselves. You just sit tight. I'll handle them hoodlums, all right. You just leave it. But say, your sheriff, we... There is no use, amigo. Aye, that mob outside, Cisco. Very soon they come in. See, there is one more thing than to try. Then what you try now? I can't you not can bend these bars. I can try, amigo. they too thick for anybody to bend. Now the... Mother Mia... What is this, Cisco? This one is a little loose. Uh, Part way. Uh, now I can't. Uh, and they move. They move, Cisco. Uh, pull. Pull uh, hard. Pull uh, hard. Pull. Uh, but, uh, that is one, but no more. Uh, pull, pull. Uh, quick. Uh, squeeze through there. Uh, you voice, amigo. Hurry, hurry. See, uh, I will go through and then pull you. Uh, Santo is tight. Uh, but you do it. You do it. Uh, see. Oh. Uh, there, I did it. Uh, come, Pancho. See. Shove your head through and I pull you and I grab your shoulders. Come on. Uh, come, Pancho. Push. Uh, pan, uh, Pancho, try, but... Pancho, Pancho, not to leave me, get his shoulder, it's true. Let me pull. Oh. It, it, it's no use, and Pancho, not can get out. Then I will be back, amigo. The Cisco kid promised that I will be back. Cisco, where'd you go? Cisco, he, he, he run away. He run away, leave Pancho here alone. Cisco! <laughs> All right, deputy. Time to face him down. Let's go out. Quiet! Shut up! Shut up, you drink local bushwhakers. Get back to your homes. Get, I say. We've come for the prisoners, Sheriff. Better hand them over to us. The only thing I'll hand you critters is a load of shot from this here scatter gun. Now get out of here, I tell you. We come here for them critters and we're going to have them, lawman. Do let go of that gun. Help, deputy! Help! You let go of me or I'll kill you. You can't kill nobody without a gun, lawman, and I got it. Now, this will take care of you. That does it. Grab his keys, Charlie. Right. Let's go, boys. Hang the quitters. Hang them. I got the keys. I got them. Which is the cell? There they are. Hey, there's only one of them in there. Where's the other killer? Where is he? You find Pancho, see? But you never find this Cisco kid. The bar's over the window. Look. He went out the window. Open that door and we'll take this one anyhow. Unlock that door. Right. There it is. Let's get him. Charlie. Yeah, I'm right here. Wait. Let those fools go. Yeah. They're plumb crazy, Creole. Yeah, sure they are. That's the way I planned it. All right, now you and I, Charlie, we got every umbra in this town in that mob. So we're going to pay our little visit to the bank. Maybe they went away with that. No. Oh, look, the 
Cell doors hanging open, Sheriff. They, they got the prisoners. Concern him. Got him. Got to get up off the floor and get after him. They won't lynch those men. I get. Blast them coasters. Trying to pull myself up, I pulled them all down on top of... Deputy. Hmm? Look at this. Uh, wait. This picture here. Yeah, huh? What, what? What? That... That face, Sheriff. That, why, that... That's the same hombre that led the mob. Look. The, there it is. The, the Creole right across the top. I knew it. I'd never seen him in town before. Deputy? Hmm? Then... That's the fella Scott McCloud told us about. Yeah. And he led that outlaw gang again the bank. What? Why, them two prisoners, they're innocent. That is what we told you before all the trouble started. You, Cisco. Then, then they didn't get you. Not I, but they got Pancho. I want my guns. I am going after those madmen. And I'm going with you. I made one mistake, Cisco. I don't aim to make another. Come on, let's go. Where's my horse, Diablo? In the stable with ours. I'll let you. Stop. What? What's wrong? Look. In the bank. A light. By thunder, you're right. We are no. going to clear this whole thing up right now. Come with me. Yeah. Did you get in the Creole? Sure. There wasn't a combination lock ever made that I couldn't work. Wait now. There. That does it. <laughs> By Thunder Creole, I sure got to hand it to you. Hey, jumping catfish. Look at the money in there. That, that must be a quarter of a million dollars. Now quit talking and get those bags over there under the counter. I figure we got half an hour to get this money and get out of here. That's what but, you think uh, of your Who's that? Uh, I, I mean, uh, oh, my arm. Get their guns, deputy. Come, sheriff. We have to ride. Yes, let's go. Ah, take those two skunks to the jail, deputy, and throw them in. And don't be too gentle about it, either. Here's a tree, boys. And a good, strong branch that's hanging low enough to throw a rope. Let's get going with this business. Oh, oh, there. Senores! Senores, this is to Pancho. Wait, listen. Go right ahead. What do you got to say, mister? Pancho wants to tell you the bad mistakes you make. The Cisco kid in Pancho will not ever do wrong. We are the side of the Lord in all things. No, you don't have that kind of talk. You're about to hang. Why don't you confess? It's your last chance. But, Senor, Pancho got nothing to confess. Pancho is innocent of everything. Pancho has robbed the bank. Pass the rope over the left bank. I'll get the noose over his head. Pancho and me, they go to hang Pancho. Oh, quit the blasted mumbling. If you got anything to say, say it loud. Hey, who's this coming? Hey. He put lead right through the roof. He shot the roof. Stop in the name of the law. You try to stop us once. You know what you got, Sheriff. Oh, try it again. Take your hands off that rope or it will be the last thing you ever do. But I and believe you... me, he can do it, too. Listen, that man's innocent. The two bandits that got away from us last night are in jail right now. That's what I said. He's all right now, Pancho. Oh, gracias, the man who put those skunks behind bars is standing right there beside you. The Cisco kid. Oh, oh Cisco, amigo. I'm positing maybe, just maybe this time, do not show up in time. Sheriff, how do you know those two you got in jail, the ones who robbed the bank? Yeah. Well, Cisco and I caught them red-handed trying it again. That fella Creole planned this necktie party to get everybody away from the bank. Pancho yeah. mm, never did like this kind of necktie. The rope scratched my neck. Take it off, Pancho. Here, uh, I untie your hands. Uh, I just happened to think of something, Sheriff. Ain't Cisco and Pancho wanted for a few things themselves? Yeah. Now, just a minute, just a minute. I guess maybe I got some pictures of Cisco and Pancho in my office. But Cisco just saved all the money you folks got in the bank. Yeah. And you owe Pancho something for trying to stretch his neck with a rope. Yeah, not only that, but thanks to Cisco, two of the snakes that's been giving this town so much trouble are roosting in the lockup right now. Well, I guess maybe that's right, Sheriff, but... Scotty, uh, I just can't remember right offhand anything that Cisco and Pancho has done that's again the law. Can you? Well, since you put it that way, no, Sheriff, I can't. How about the rest of you, Jeff? Well, let's get back to town. I think there's going to be a real interesting trial for a couple of bank robbers. What do you say, Pancho? Shall we go back to the town, too? Pancho, say this. 
If I never go back to that town, it's much too soon. Very well, then. Come, Pancho. We go. We're in for Cisco. Who knows? For Cisco and Pancho, there is always someplace else. <whistles> Yalo! <whistles> Logo! What are you thinking about, amigo? Uh, Pancho just thinking, Cisco. We so busy in that town, Pancho not even get to find out the name. Oh, it's called Broken Cinch. Oh, well, now Pancho asked you never to mention that name again. Oh, Cisco, that an awful place. You know, Pancho, I was just thinking of something. See? We had just sat down to our supper when the sheriff came in and arrested us. Uh-huh. And we have not eaten since early this morning. For the first time in Pancho's life... Mm, Pancho not hungry, amigo. No, no, no. Pancho not hungry tonight. Pancho just want to ride and ride and ride away from broken cinch. Si, sí, si. Sí. Uh, Cisco. Si, sí, Pancho. Someday you think we go to a town where we not have the troubles? Si, sí, amigo. Oh, there may be such a place. Then why we not ride to it? With no trouble, amigo mio, what would we do for excitement? Sleep and eat. Loaf and eat. And do nothing. And eat. That sounds very fattening to me. <laughs> oh, Cisco, let us find this town where there are no troubles. You must know such a place. Mm, no, amigo, I do not. Um, Pancho you know such a place, I think. You do? Where is it? It's across the mountains to the north. A little town called Lasting Peace. Why are you sure it's a village where there is never any trouble? You must not let the name deceive you. I think there is very much to a name of a place. To Pancho... The name of a place is what the place is like. Almost, anyway. I cannot agree with you. No, Cisco? Uh, what's the name of the town we just left? Broken Cinch. See? And in Broken Cinch, Pancho almost got a broken neck. Oh, Pancho. Oh, Cisco. Pancho. <laughs> 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 And so ends another thrilling adventure with O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the West, the Cisco Kid. to listen again for another thrilling adventure of The Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid was played by Jack Mather. Pancho by Harry Lang. <laughs>